What's up, y'all? This is me again. Go mouth, girl. Okay, so let me tell y'all something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Something I have very, very high level of anxiety over, okay? Which is when I have my hair in a protective style for a long time and then I comb it out and I get all this hair everywhere. <sighs> y'all don't know what it do to me. Because I've been through so much with my cancer journey that when hair falls out, I freak out. Like, I totally freak out. And... And I had to learn, relearn the difference between my hair falling out, my hair shedding, and my hair breaking. That was one of the hardest. That's still hard for me um, because I always fear that my hair is falling out when I get this shedded hair that has been building up in my hair for like three, four weeks, a month at a time when I keep my hair braided. So it's like when I do detangle my hair, it's like a, a, a high anxiety uh, a, a feeling when I, when my hair sheds and it comes out in this heel comb, y'all. So, let me tell you something that I learned from my own experiment, experience, that uh, when combing my hair, that these long strands, hopefully they be shedding. <laughs> Listen, when my hair was falling out when I was taking the chemotherapy, it was long strands, long strands coming straight directly from my scalp. So, when your hair is shedding, Oh my God, my camera keeps sh shedding up. So when your hair is shedding, it's the same way. You get these long strands coming from your scalp. I don't know if y'all can see that, but long strands coming from my scalp. Just like it was when I was taking chemo. So in order for me not to have a full-on panic attack, anxiety attack about my hair falling out, um, I have to keep in mind that the, the shedded hair is long strands too, y'all. So the... When y'all hair shed, okay, it, it should be shedding the long strain because your hair sheds from your scalp. Now, if you got a lot of short pieces of hair coming out, that's breakage. That's breakage and you might need to cut your split ends. I mean, you're going to have some short pieces anyway because your hair going to break regardless. But if you got a whole comb full of short little pieces of hair coming out, or uh, when you look down on the floor or your legs or uh, the bathroom, whatever, wherever you at, uh, and you got a bunch of short pieces of hair, your hair is breaking off and it should not be breaking off. And the reason why it's breaking off probably is you're not taking proper care of it and keeping it moisturized. So, um, you might want to check that, okay? So, just to let you guys know, if you ain't know, long strands coming out your scalp is normal. I have to tell myself that. Like, for real, I have to tell myself that i'm just telling y'all what i have to go through personally in my brain in order to function properly um long strands are normal as long as it ain't a whole lot of them because when my hair was my hair was coming out by handfuls and combs full at, at that time when i was taking the chemo and it wasn't pretty y'all okay so um so now i have to get my brain to realize that long strands of hair is shedded hair even though I've been new to it, but I was just telling y'all how my brain operated after chemo. Life after chemo, life after cancer, life after radiation. Oh my God, it's, it's a struggle, y'all. I be struggling a lot with myself, with my inner self, with my with my outer self, with myself, just everywhere self. Um, it's a struggle. I, I must admit, I, don't, I ain't here to complain, but it is a struggle because... I have to keep going back to the doctor just to get checked. And then every little pain I feel, oh, Lord. God, leave my hair so thick up in there, I can't even feel my scalp. Jesus, be a fence. So, it's a struggle, y'all. Every day I battle with this. So, um, I, I pray every day that God takes this feeling away from me. It's like I get scared a lot and I don't want to have the spirit of fear, but of love and of power and a sound mind that God giving me. Okay? Okay. So, get back, devil. Get thee behind me, Satan. Um, oh my God, my heart is so thick up in the roots. Yeah. Let me spray that because I ain't going to be able to get that in there. Ooh. Got to get some moisturization going on. So, yeah, yeah, I just came back to say, I'm so tired of my camera cutting off. You can't see the growth if you're not taking care of your ends. Your hair pushes out from your scalp. You don't look at somebody's hair. You ever looked at somebody's hair and be like, girl, your hair just growing, and you looking at their scalp? You really looking at 
the length. You're looking at those ends to see where your hair touch at. So we don't do lymph checks by how much hair we got right here. We don't know whoever did a lymph check like that. We do lymph checks about how much hair you still got hanging on to your ends. You feel me? So I don't know what I'm talking about, but what I'm talking about. See, I just got lost. So in order for you to see hair growth results, you got to practice. You got to learn to practice length retention. No matter if you wear a protective style or not. You can wear your hair out all the time, every day if you want to. But eventually your hair is not going to like that. Unless you just bless with hair you can wear out every day. You know, um, like a white girl and just slang it. And all of that stuff. If you blessed, then go ahead. Wear your hat, child. I ain't mad. I wish I could. Because if I did that every day, my hair, my ends would be raggedy. Even though they already raggedy right now. My ends would be raggedy. And all that. You wouldn't be able to see none of this goodness. Okay? Uh, and I don't know where I'm going on this. Because my videos would be all over the place. If somebody want me to hit on a certain topic that I, that I could discuss, keep my mind on it. On that topic, ask me a question, and I'll make a video on a specific topic that you want me to discuss. That came out that one section. Okay? And plus what's on my lap. And, my, yeah, all of that. So, that's just... Uh! <sighs> Y'all, I tell you, the anxiety is real with my hair. Um, I got to, uh, with my hair shedding and falling out. Not falling out, Jesus. Um, shedding <laughs> and breaking. Ugh. Okay. So, I'm going to comb these two sections down for y'all. No, I'm not. I'll do that in another video when I'm finished all the detangling. Girl, this might be a whole detangling series. I don't talk so much, chat. Anyway, chat, y'all stay tuned to my next video, y'all, so I can keep on talking and talking junk. And if y'all don't want to listen, then click off and go to somebody else's video. But y'all need to listen to me because y'all love me and all of that good stuff. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching my video. That's all I got to say, and I'm going to holler at y'all later. Oh, don't forget to check out my uh, button website, y'all. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. Love you. Bye.